All right, we've tried, but we just can't put it off any longer. It's time to say farewell to our dear friend and 207 colleague, Peggy Kaiser. Now, this is not <laughs> the first time that Peggy has left News Center, Maine. Your first stint began here in the 1980s. Correct. When you did the weather on the morning and noon news. In fact, right. Peggy and I worked together on News Center at noon for several years. He and everyone else out there had kind of a gray, dreary morning. Weekend, yeah, weekend and weekend morning. And morning. Yeah. Right, and as we said, we do need the rain. Everyone is very much aware of that. Yesterday's didn't help. So in the 1990s, Peg left her shoulder pads and hairspray behind <laughs> and stepped away for several years while raising three kids. But she came back. <laughs> <laughs> it was a great break when she returned to the station to work on 207. For many years, she has been reporting, anchoring, shooting, editing, booking guests, in short, contributing in countless ways to this program. But what we treasure even more is her humor, her enthusiasm, her homemade chocolate chip cookies, and her friendship. And now she's going to write a new chapter in her life. What are you going to be doing? Well, you guys, if you watch 207 with any regularity, you know that I never miss the chance to do stories about horses and dogs and even snapping turtles. <laughs> and in the last couple of years, it has become clear to me, oh, don't show that, that my heart lies with the work of animal welfare in this state and the good people that do that work. And I've been offered, I'm crying, but I've been offered this wonderful position with the Maine State Society for Protection of Animals in Wyndham, the beautiful Horse Rescue Shelter, where I will be their advancement director working with fundraising, communications, and marketing. And while I'm over the moon, excited and a bit nervous to start this new chapter, it is really hard to leave this work family. And it's been a privilege to be invited into your homes and your lives and share your amazing stories. And I'm going to miss you guys like crazy, but I trust you'll visit. <laughs> You know, it's uh, a stressful job. We have a lot of work to do to get this show on the air every night, but when the going is good, it's a lot of fun. That's and the true. friendships and That's just true. the laughs that we have that are is really the, the best part of what we do. Yeah, and you are just such a bright light. Well, I, thank you. I can't thank really you. Say much you know, more. I. I started here in the 80s, as you said, and I did leave for a while, but this place is home and many people here feel like family and that's the hard part to leave. Um, I'm not leaving Maine, I'm not leaving my house and my neighborhood and all that, <laughs> and I'm not going that far away. So that's the only part that brings me a little bit of comfort because I know I'll still be in, in touch and connected to you folks. And, and to work with the Maine State Society yes. for the Protection of Animals is truly truly the ideal fit for you. Absolutely. It absolutely is. It became, you know, that that animal welfare work just became, filled my heart these last few years. And uh, I knew in some way that that would be my next step. And I didn't know what it would look like. And when this opportunity presented itself, it felt very, very divine. And I'm so grateful. And I will miss you all. And I will be watching. <laughs> We're going to see you. So yeah, that's the good news. No question. But we're going to miss you. Thank you.